really big past couple weeks here at our mini farm homestead. In the last two weeks, we bought a tractor. We had a couple chicken butcherings. We started getting our first harvests from the garden. We had company come through, family from Hawaii and friends from Georgia. We built a chicken coop cage. My sourdough starter completely took off and I'm getting beautiful loaves of sourdough. I got a Costco membership and I'm kicking myself for not having done it sooner with our big family. It's gonna get really hot today, so I'm gonna mommy's gonna make some sun tea. It's gonna taste good. First harvest of lettuce from the garden and a huge pile of rhubarb. Today is the big day I've been waiting for for a long time. I've got my jars, I've got my pectin, I've got my strawberries. We are going to be making strawberry rhubarb jam and Victoria's salsa. Thank you. 
And so we set up our canning in the garage. Hey guys, we're on. Check this out. So the jars have been sterilized. That means they're clean, they're very clean. If there's any bacteria in these jars, it can make us really sick. Okay? So you wanna get this really hot, you wanna get this boiling. This is a Victory, Victoria sauce. It's called Victoria sauce. I thought it was Victoria sauce. So go ahead and, there's jars in the sink. Hand me some more jars, pour out the hot water. Now we put the hot water in them. If we put this in a, in a jar, this boiling hot stuff in a jar, if we just flat out put this in a hot jar, you know what would happen? The jar could crack and break. There's no hairs or no fragments. Okay, do you want to carry it? He said you could help her. Probably the heat is a bit hotter in the water than the jars by now because the water was boiling but the salsa was not boiling anymore. Did you notice? Mm -hmm. So teaching my children how to can today and it's been fun. We've all been working together as a team. It's been quite a project. The four older kids, no, the three older kids and one of the younger kids have been involved in the process, although one of the younger kids has just been kind of observing from afar because she's too little to do very much yet, but she wants to see what's going on. Anyways, I'm teaching my children about how if you just put your jar down into the water without dipping it in and out a few times first, the jar can become stressed and crack because the temperature of the contents in the jar have cooled off a bit. They're not boiling anymore. The water is boiling. So if I just drop those jars in there, they could become stressed and cracked. So you wanna dip your jars with the contents in and out a couple times before you just put it down into the water.
We've been in our new home for about two months now and we are finally ready to set this space up. This area is going to be the living room. We haven't had a living room really. We kind of have a makeshift living room in our master bedroom. But today we're going to be setting up the real living room space. I'm very excited. So the reason it took so long is we had to finish the ceiling in here and put the lighting in. We also needed to do the floor. So the floor was not finished. This is the rest of the living space over here. We have the dining room over there and the kitchen here. The floor is not finished in this area, that area over there yet, but it is finished now in this part of the kitchen and almost all of the living room area that we intend to be for the living room. You can see the transition here. So now part of the kitchen is done, the long walkway there. We still have this area to do back there is done because we were getting ready for the stove which is coming in hopefully this weekend. 